Adobe Animate is a software name. When you opening the Adobe Animate, first it will take to you one property window. In that property window, it will be explaining to you the basic properties of the page, size of the page, what type of uh, 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 layout you need. These all the things. Sorry, the size will be giving after. Okay. That what type of the layout you need. There are many purposes we are using for this. For example, HTML, you know, it's for web, regarding website. In website, you, you need some banner animations and all. We were using Adobe, uh, uh, HTML was, um, Adobe Animate was using to make website banners and all. That's why HTML canvas. WebGL also is using for um, uh, internet purpose only, uh, website purpose only. But be honestly, these things we are not using now. Nowadays, nobody using uh, uh, Adobe Flash animation website because uh, in mobiles and all, it will not support sometimes. That's the reason that these things are not using. They're using different programming language to do that. Okay, some different method. A lot of some other applications programs are available to do this one now. So it's not doing now. You might have here jQuery and all jQuery. jQuery is one of the things which you can get it similar kind of animation. You see when the front of the websites and also image sliding animations you see, right? So that kind of things. Next below, you can see a category here. You can see action script tree. This is actually what we are going to do for our animations and all action, action script tree. Why is written action script? Because there are some scripting language over here, which you can type the scripting and we can do something, some program. You can make small, small flash games and all. Okay, so that's the reason action script we are doing. And some other purpose for, for iOS, for Android, uh, for normal desktop, some other action script class and also for scripting languages, some other purpose. So actually in our syllabus, what we are studying actually action script, this is for animation. So you need to click this one to get the proper animation result. Otherwise when you're taking output and all, you won't be able to, it won't be able to get the result. So you need to choose what? action script and if you have a file to open you can open from here so i click on action script three when you click this one you see you got your layout so the layout different way you can go for animator there is one purpose you know like you can check like this animator you see this colors alignment and all comes and this is called stage stage comes to center and classic what we have seen now debug is for scripting mainly designers so designers element we all, all are coming over there Developer, we're making for application icons or some designs and all we'll be using for developer. I think it got stuck. Developer and essentials. Essentials is some, something like classic only, but it moved to right side, left side. See what exactly happening? This is moving here and there, right? So whatever you're comfortable, you can do. If you want to keep it this one down, down, left, left, right, right. That's exactly happening. The property window, if I'm in a small screen now, so property, if I click it, property will be coming. So whatever it is, I'm telling you an important point. So when you open on the top, you can see menu bar. This is menu bar, all menus are here. You can access from here and work on. Whenever we need, we can go and take the menus. Left side, you have a toolbox. As like all other Adobe software, we have toolbox here also, drawing toolbar, modify toolbar. Um, this um, for, col for coloring. For, so these all we have tools are here. This is called timeline. We are doing an animation here. So we have timeline. Each, each frames like different, different pages. You know, flipbook, right? Flipbook animation. Just imagine this all are each page of a flipbook animations. Hope you know what is flipbook animation. Flipbook means each page we will have different, different drawing. And when you flip it, it feel like an animation. That's called flipbook animations. Flipbook animation. So images on. You might have seen this kind of animations, right? So when you move it, flip it, flip it, each and every frame, same place, there will be some drawing. So you feel like as an animation. So just imagine this is like frame by frame. If you started to do this, all are like pages. So all are like flipbook, one by one pages. And it's gonna play all together, okay? So this is called timeline. You can create multiple layers, like Photoshop, Illustrator, and all we had layers, similar layers. In, in here also, Adobe Animate also, we have layers over here. We can click from here and create layers. We can delete from layer and you can create folders inside to layers. You can group it, organize it proper. And play, if you wanna play next frame, previous frame, this all playback control is also here. 
you are on which frame it will be visible over here. You are on first, it is visible over here. If you go here, now you cannot go, that's not content over there. Uh, when you are in your here, it will be showing you that number. On the right side, you have common properties for the colors, different type of colors, alignment and all, it's common. And we have page property. This is the entire page property. In this page property, you're gonna give, um, you can see the size of here. This is very important. What is the page size you need? 1280 into 720 is a normal HD, not full HD. So when you do it, you can adjust the page size. So in Adobe Animate, anytime you can come back to your properties and you can change this width and height. And FPS means frame per second. How many frame per second? 24 or 25 frame per seconds you can do it. 24 or 25 frame per seconds you can do it. So in one second, this is usually we do it in Adobe Animate. But if you want to feel this is an animation, actually 12 frames per second is enough. You feel like it's a proper animation. But when you want to do editing, you do a lot of properties inside, you wanna make slow or fast, whatever. So minimum 25, if you keep it, you will get proper smooth animation, okay? And, and there is a concept you might know, persistence of vision. Persistence of visions for eyes, actually, see, when we see something, when we see uh, uh, an object is moving, our eyes have a capacity, our eyes are, eyes are uh, watching everything like still image. Just see in front of your eyes, there is some, your, your curtain in your bedroom, curtain is moving now slowly, slowly, okay? So the curtain actually, the moment you feel like actually the eyes are capturing one frame, second frame, third frame like that. In one second, your eyes will capture 16 frame per second, 16 frame per second. That's the reason that you feel like this is a moment. So your eyes have a capacity, 16 frame it is moving. That is called actually persistence of visions. Okay. So similar way, minimum 12 if you keep it in Adobe Animate, minimum 12 if you keep it, feel like movement proper. But I recommend to you as an animation student, you always need to work with 25 or more than that. If you need to do some editing detail to make slow or something, we're going to increase this one. Otherwise, keep it 25 frames always. This is your page. Page in Adobe Animate, we call stage. What is the color of the stage you need? You can choose from here. What color of the stage is the background color, okay? If you need white, keep on white only. So this is the properties over here. If I go to anyone, you can see, when I go to Animator, this will change it, okay? You see this alignment handles all change, but you can see the properties are here. I go to I go to essentials, okay, essentials, you see this property has gone. If you're not able to find it something, you can go to here in window, everything is available here. Now, for example, properties is not the in essential. So click on property, property gonna come here and you can adjust the same thing. So I like to go now in the small screen, it is fine, or you can go to classic, okay? What is up to you, how you wanna arrange it. I prefer this one. Even if you are in a small screen, you can move one to here, other to here and all, you can customize also. So this is, I wanna talk about interface of Adobe Animate. And in toolbox, if you open this toolbox, you can see below, there are two colors over here. One is stroke color and one is fill color. It's like Photoshop's, we have uh, stroke and fill color. Illustrator, we have stroke and, not Photoshop. Illustrator, we have stroke and fill color, something like that. We have stroke color and we have fill color. So this is, I wanna say all about, Adobe Animate interface. Now, to begin uh, the animation, to begin Adobe Animate lessons, first of all, you should know how to create shapes. Like any other Adobe software, the basic shapes we have, rectangles, circles, and all, similar kind of, you can see here, shapes are here. I click rectangle, and I click here, you can see, rectangle can create. I have a circle, circle can create. I have a poly star here, which is given. When you click all the mouse, you can see rectangle primitives. That means you can do the similar kind of primitives only, but it's having its own property. I will explain to you. Circle is there and oval primitives are the same thing, but we have some property extra. And this one, polystar also having common properties only. So the, what is the difference if you want to understand? You need to, you can see when I'm selecting this one, it's not selecting inside. When you're selecting, you can see it's selecting inside. Okay, that means if I select it here, if you click over here, I can do something, you can open it because I use the primitive one. If I use the another one, this is also primitive. So I can control like this. 
But this is a normal rectangle, I cannot do like that. You can see when I'm moving, fill will go separate, stroke will go separate. Just one minute, okay? So after this two, uh, if I'm taking again a normal rectangle here, when I'm taking a rectangle, you see here, there is stroke and fill color, stroke and fill color. So this is coming over here. So before I'm drawing this one, if I want to change it, I can change this color. Okay, now see, I have stroke and fill color over there. So if I, after this, if I select this one, I can move fill color separate, stroke color separate. Stroke, if I selected one only, you can see it's selecting only one. But if I double click on it, it select everything. If I double click, it will select everything. When you go to property, whatever you are selecting over here, property will be changed as per. Well. Now the stroke, I want to increase it, you see? The stroke can increase like this. Now there is no fill color, only stroke is there because this one I move it. So if you want, again, you can give its own. So already, already this become fill color now. A second. Okay, and now select it, properties and change now from here, change now. And this is the stroke color, and this is the stroke width. Now, if you keep your mouse, let me double click again. If you wanted to select, double click, you can select all stroke, I'm gonna change to something else. If you keep your mouse using selection tool on the corner, you can move like this, okay? But if you select inside and move it, this will become separate, Control Z. If I click my mouse point on the corner, it can customize like this. If you keep, keep my mouse on sender somewhere, you can make arc, okay? If you select like this somewhere, then if you do it here, you see it happens here only, here only. So it's coming everywhere now. But if I select here and here, then if I'm doing here, it will happen. It will happen between only. Here and here, between only, yeah. Okay, if you want any, any part of this one, you can select and delete. It's also possible. You can select and delete it. So usually if you take something like this, if you use the selection tool, you can customize like this. There is below, there is sub-selection tool. Sub-selection tool, if you do it, see, using sub-selection tool, you cannot move this fill separate, stock separate, and only the points on here, you can edit it. For example, I'm gonna choose this one, okay? If I use sub-selection tool, I can control these points. Okay, but if you use the selection tool, you can control these points. You can control this point, but when you click on the stroke, you can take the stroke separate. If you double click on the stroke, you can select all the stroke separate. You can select fill the fill color, fill color I can select separate. Okay, this is all possible. When you're creating this folly star, if you, uh, one second. Yeah, I create poly star here. And if I select it, go to properties over here. You see what's the property available. You can see here, the properties is given for the stock now. And if there is any other stock available here, of course, depends on the shapes, you can change different type of stock. So we will use very rare only this kind of different kind of stocks. But if you need that, you can be choose different kind of stock. And width is there, width you don't need to touch now. Now you, check, you can check only the stock style over there. So if you want to take any shapes, you can take, if you want to select it, you can select like this. And if you want to scale it something, you can use free transform tool also. Free transform tool, you can select it anytime, select and use free transform tool, scale and all. Take this pivot point, if you keep here in this corner, when you scale it, it will be scaling like this. If you this pivot point on here, when you scale it, it's going to scale like this, okay? This is transform tool. So I told you about selection, sub-selection, free transform, rectangle, rectangle primitive, oval, oval primitive, and polystar tool. Okay. Just check these options. Ensure you know and, and how to fill color, how to stroke color. And fill color, you have some more things. When you choose this one, when you click over here inside. Anytime you can come back and choose. There are gradient colors also here. You can choose any gradient colors from here to do 
fill color. If you don't want stock, double click and delete it. Now click on the borders. See, you can customize this all. Anytime you can select it and change the color to different, different color. When you click over here, if you want more than this, any other color, more than this palette, you can click on this, choose some other colors, which one you need. If you need to opacity less, you can go to choose the color and you can see here, opacity 82 is less opacity. I'm gonna keep something on top of this. Now you can see it's opacities. You can see behind, right? Let me change this one to some other color. And this opacity is, opacity is actually alpha. Now if I'm keeping this one, you understand? It's gone already. What, the, what, what I'm doing when I'm creeping here, what will it will start to merge it, okay? That I will explain to you why. Because in, in Adobe Animate, there is something like, if you do two shapes like this, then I cannot take this separate. This will be merging together. So that is the reason opacity is not working. We can do with the two layers. The layers I didn't go, that's why I'm not explaining that again. So what I'm saying to you, if you have one shapes like this, and if you have another shape like this, if you merge it together, then you cannot take this one back. When you take it, you can see it will be trimming that area. So that's the reason opacity not visible. But if you'd want to do opacity, take a no normal objects. Opacity means alpha here. See if I less it 50, 70 or something, when you throw, you understand it's transparent now. If you do it to different layers and all, you can see behind objects will be transparent. If you select it, anytime you can go to property, you see the properties are here. Even you can adjust the alpha and all from here also. Now, when you draw something, if you don't want colors on it, if you don't want stock color, you can click on here. Okay, none. Stock can be removed or you can select and delete also. So this much objects you see. One more time, selection tool, sub-selection tool, free transform tool, three type of uh, basic shapes, straw color, fill color, gradient colors, alpha, and uh, you can remove a fill color or straw color on, or property. You can go inside and take, take, more, take more property. Or when you draw something with your straw color, with your straw, that straw, if you want to increase or decrease, or if any style, if you want to change it, straw can be increase and decrease style you can adjust from here. So this much options. Ensure before we start the animations, everybody is perfect in this all option because next onward we'll start to take this one. We don't discuss how to draw it. We will start to animate only. So ensure these portions are okay. Then we'll continue the animation portion.